grade, sixth grade, lesson 104. This one is we're going to be doing algebraic addition, okay? So what I want you to do is let's take this problem, all right? This looks kind of weird, all right? Negative 3. You're going to need to take notes on this, okay? okay. Negative 3 plus a negative 4 and it's in parentheses, minus a negative 5, and it's in parentheses, minus yeah, I'm supposed to be writing a positive 2 plus a positive 6. Now, they put parentheses beside each number or around each number, whether it was negative or positive. Okay, so I'm just going to finish, follow suit with the rest of it, and just go in and add that. And I'm going to show you what to do step by step. Okay. Plus two. Plus plus six. Okay. Okay. Now, when you're doing algebraic algebraic um, adding and you're doing negative and positive numbers, okay, you always want to make subtraction signs into plus signs. So I want you to make that your first step. Make subtraction signs. into plus okay so make minuses into plus now when you do that when you make subtraction signs into plus signs then you have to change the sign of the number on its right now let me explain to you what I mean going to take notes on that that's our first step Change. Change the sign of the number on its right. Okay, so let's look at this problem and tell me the first minus sign you've seen. Okay, minus. it's this one right here. See the first minus sign? Yes. Okay, so what am I supposed to do to it? Change it to a plus sign. And, and then the number to the right changes its sign. So right now it's a negative 5, so it's going to become a positive 5. Okay, good. Now we're done with that one. Now let's look at this minus one. Okay, okay. this minus we're going to change to a plus. And then it makes negative 2. It makes it from a positive 2 to a negative 2. Now, here's what you need to understand. Now this, is, this entire problem is set up completely right because it's all adding, which is what we want it to be. Okay, now the negative numbers go in war against the positive numbers. Okay, okay? they're going to go in war against each other. Now, here's the thing you need to know is that when they go into war with one another, just a minute, sorry about that. I hit that accidentally. Okay, when they go into war with one another, Okay, one of them is going to end up winning, obviously, positive or negative. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to underline all my negative numbers. One, one here, and one here. Got it? And now I'm going to double underline my positive numbers. Now, next step we're going to do is we're going to add all of our negative numbers first. So... 4 plus 3 plus 2. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and since we're adding negative, negative, and negative, it makes a negative 9. Okay. Okay, okay so this would be like if I was on the number line. Remember when we were doing the number line? And I went negative 1, 2, 3 plus another negative 1, 2, 3, 4 plus another negative 2, 1, 2. Guess what that equals? Negative 11. But you just skipped I'm sorry, the positive negative 5. Nine. We're not doing that yet. Okay. Okay? We're going we're to do that in just a minute. Right now it's negative 9 because we just wanted to get all of our groups together. Whoops, I didn't mean that. Plus do positive 11. Okay, so now we're going to do plus. Now let's add, great job. Let's add our positive numbers. Okay, 6 and 5 is 11. 11. Now, Here's the next step you need to know, and this is what you're going to write down. Number two, okay? 
Number two is you are going to subtract if the numbers are opposite. Subtract if the numbers are opposites, negative and positive. And then you're going to take the sign of the biggest number. So the biggest number wins. All right, so let's do this problem. They told us to subtract if the numbers are opposite, one's negative, one's walk, one positive. Then, then we're going to take the sign of the biggest number. So let's subtract. What's 9 from 11? Uh, 2. 2. Okay. And we're going to take the sign of the biggest number. Which one is the biggest number? 11. Uh-huh. Is it positive or negative? Positive. So we're going to make it a positive. Now, you don't have to make it positive. When it's positive, it's considered, that's considered positive. Yeah. If you don't see a negative, that's considered positive. But if it makes you feel better, you can make that one positive and this one positive. Yeah. Okay? You got it? Yep. Okay, good job. Now, you feel like you got it? Yeah. All right. Let's do another one. Those are kind of funny rules, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Negative 2 plus a negative 3 minus a negative 4 plus a negative 5. Now, it helps me to put parentheses around every number so that you can see. That, see, that kind of looks confusing. Yeah. So it helps me. It doesn't. You're not doing any kind of problem within it, each other. Yeah. Now, if the negative numbers were next to each other, that would mean multiply. But this says add. Okay. You see what I'm saying? If they were next to each other with parentheses around them, it would mean multiply. But since it has an add in it, it just we're just putting the parentheses around it to help us keep up with the number. Okay. okay. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. It does me too. Okay. Now, do we see anything we need to do? Uh, change the subtraction to an add as well as the four. Okay. Good. Plus. Now. We have a negative, a negative, a negative, and one positive. So what am I going to do? You add all the negatives. Yes. Anytime they're so, all the same, the same signs, that's another rule you need to add. Same signs you add, different signs you subtract. Okay. Okay? Because remember, we did that a while ago. So you might want to write that down. That's a good rule. Same signs you always add. Okay? And take that sign. Uh, Different signs. You're going to subtract. And take sign of the biggest number. Now, as you get older, this will become easier. Okay? These rules will. Okay? You got those two rules written? Yeah. And take sign. Of We've already done this. You've already written this one down. Oh, okay. Different signs. Different signs what to do and same signs what to yeah. do. This is on adding yeah. um, negative and positive numbers. Okay. Now, let's take our same uh, signs, which are negative 2, negative 3, and negative 5. And what am I supposed to do? Add. Add and then take that sign. So. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5 is 10. 10. And what sign does it all have? Uh, negative 10. Negative. So we're going to keep the negative 10. Now, plus, and this is my only number, positive 4. Okay. Positive four. When they're different, what do you do? Subtract and take sign of the biggest. Okay, so we're going to subtract 10 minus 4. Even though it says plus, that's how you do this kind of problem. If they're different opposite signs... You're going to subtract, what is 10 minus 4? 6. 6, and you're going to take the sign of the biggest number? Uh-huh. Negative wins. It's okay. kind of a fun little pattern to do, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so you might want to put different signs. I think I named it opposite signs, which is fine too. But different signs is probably better because they're different. Different signs versus same signs. 
You want to yeah. do one more? Or you think you got it? Uh, I think I got it. Okay. Well, we've done A, or I'm sorry, yeah, A. We just did A on the board. So you just are, you're supposed to do B through F. Okay. Okay. That is lesson 104.